So now I want to discuss about that is the crude operation that is you can say create, retrieve, update, delete, insert, update, delete, search, sort that is using the JDBC from Java to Oracle. So here this is my Oracle SQL plus prompt and here I have one table. Let me create the table and the table is create table cricketer. You can say that cricketer code integer primary key is the column. Another column is there cricketer name varker 230. Another column is there and you can say that is cricketer score integer and you can press semicolon over here and you can press enter table is created. Now I want to make the insert update delete into this cricketer table from Java code. So let me create the connection from Java. So here this is my Java code. Let me save this program as and the program name is db connection dot java let me create here one class and that class is db connection here i want to declare the constructor that is db connection whenever you are talking about the connection you need the package and that is java dot sql dot star now i want to establish the jdbc connectivity so definitely i need to load the driver so i'm just writing here try and catch because might be a chance the class not found exception is there so i'm just writing the try catch exception e and here you can load the driver so you can write here class dot for name and you can load the driver and the driver is oracle dot jdbc dot driver dot oracle driver here this oracle dot jdbc dot driver is a package and this oracle driver is the name of the class here now you can initialize your connection variable so i need to declare the connection instance so i'm writing here connection con here you can write that con is equal to driver manager dot get connection is the function you need to provide the database name over here so i'm just writing jdbc colon oracle colon thin colon slash slash here you can provide the ip address i am providing the localhost because my oracle is available in the current computer only and the port number is 1521 and the database instance name is orcl second argument is the username so you can provide here the username for example scott and the password is tiger so whenever you create the instance of this db connection your connection will be established so here you can write the message and that message is connection established so now i want to test this db connection so i want to create one more class so let me create the new file and here i want to create the class and that class is cricketer crude demo let me save this program as that is cricketer crude demo dot java let me write the main function over here that is public static void main here you can create the instance of your db connection so you can write db connection con is equal to new db connection so whenever you call the constructor of db connection what happened the constructor will be called and the connection will be established you can create here one function that is to close the connection so you can write here public void close and here you can write that connection dot close you can throw the exception over here that is throws exception so what happened your db connection whenever you create the instance of this db connection the connection will be established and whenever you call the function close your connection will be closed here you can print the message connection is closed so let me print the message connection closed let me save this and this is the crude demo here i am just calling the db connection constructor you can save this now i want to compile the program that is java c db connection dot java and i want to compile the code that is java c cricketer crude demo dot java now you can run this that is cricketer crude demo so you need to provide the class path 
but if you don't want to provide the class path every time so you can set the class path is equal to ojdbc14.jar semicolon dot so current directory will also be included you can make the enter and now you can write java cricketer crude demo so whenever you run this cricketer crude demo you will get the message connection is established now you can call the connection dot close also whenever you call connection dot close you will get the message and the message is what that the connection is closed but here unreported exception that i need to handle in a java 5 it means that here in a public static void main i need to throws the exception or i need to write this within the try and catch so let me write here throws exception now you can compile your code and you can simply run this you will get the message connection established and connection closed i don't need to provide the class path just because i set the class path over here but if you want to provide the class path then you can write dash cp ojdbc14.jar dot and you can write cricketer crude demo you will get the message connection established and connection closed now whenever the cricketer crude demo is executed i want to make the entry into this table that is cricketer so how we can do this very simple here we can write one function that is to insert the record so i'm just writing here one function public void insert here we can write throws exception and here whenever you are inserting the record you need the three things and that is cricketer code cricketer name and cricketer score so let me declare variable that is integer cricketer code string cricketer name integer cricketer score now i want to make the entry into the table so here we can write that one more object and that object is prepared statement ps so we can write here ps is equal to connection dot prepare statement is a function in which you can write insert into and which table cricketer what you want to insert i want to insert the cricketer code name and score so here we can move to the sql this is my sql in which you can say that c code is the column c name and score these are the column so here we can write insert into cricketer cricketer code cricketer name and score i want to make the entry into the table and that is values and the value will be question mark question mark question mark it means that the value that we will get from the user so here we can write that ps dot set integer why because cricketer code is the integer we can say that the first question mark in which this cricketer code the value that user passed that i want to insert so i'm just writing here cricketer code in the second argument you can say that cricketer name so you can write here cricketer name in the third argument i want the score so you can write here in third argument this is score but the cricketer name is a string so i need to write here set string and at last you can simply write ps dot execute update so what happen the record will be inserted into the table whenever this insert function is called so what we can do from cricketer crude demo we can simply call this function and that is insert function and we can provide the value so let me call the function for example connection dot insert and let me pass here value cricketer code 1001 name of the cricketer is virat kohli and the score is 248 if it is a test so that three value will be passed over here and that will be make the insert into this cricketer code so what is the biggest benefit you can call directly this function and the record will be inserted into the table you can save this you can compile this particular code that is java c cricketer crude demo dot java and you can compile java c db connection dot java and you can run this that is java and you can run cricketer crude demo whenever you run this you will get the message connection established and connection closed but i want to check is the record is inserted into the table or not so you can move to your sql prompt 
So here in SQL, you can write the query that is select star from cricketer and you will get the message 1001 Virat Kohli 248 score is inserted over here. But I want to develop the manual driven program. So how we can do this? Very simple. We can declare the variable that is integer choice is equal to minus 1. I want to take the input from the user and that is using the buffer reader. It means that I don't want to create the two separate instances of the scanner. So here you can import java.io.star and here you can simply initialize your buffer reader. So you can write buffered reader br equal to new buffered reader in which you can pass the instance of input stream reader. So as a result, you can pass the instance of system.in. So what happened whenever you call the br.read line, the string input will be taken from the user. So now I want to provide the menu to the user. So I'm just writing here do and here you can write while choice not equal to zero. It means that until and unless the choice is not zero, I want to run this particular loop. You can write here system dot out dot print line one four that is insert. It means that I want to make the entry into the cricketer table and two four display all the records of cricket and zero four that is exit. Here we can write system dot out dot print and here we can say that enter your choice. So we will take the input from the user so we can write here choice is equal to br dot read line that is buffer reader dot read line but what happened it will return the string so we need to cast it into integer so we can write here integer dot parsing and we can pass the string into this. So what happened? It will be converted into integer. And here you can pass your choice into switch case. So here you can write switch choice. If it is a case one, I want to insert the data. So here we can create the instance of DB connection over here. And we can call the connection dot insert over here in a case one. So that record will be inserted. But every time it will insert the one record that is 1001 and as we implemented the primary key so the record will not be inserted and at last we can say that connection dot close and that we can do whenever the user press the zero it means that if it is a case zero then we can close the connection and we can write the message even to the user that thanks for visiting my program thank you very much have a nice day bye like that you can write the message over here that system dot out dot print line thanks and here you can say bye so this is what when the user press the zero but whenever user press one static record will be inserted it means 1001 virat kohli and 248 I don't want to insert the static. I want to take the input from the user that what you want to insert, right? So definitely that we can do. But right now I want to insert the static record 1002 Rohit Sarma and 264 is the score. Now I want to taste this particular code. So you can save this. So you can compile this particular code Java C DB connection dot Java. Java C cricketer crude demo dot Java and you can run your class cricketer crude demo. So whenever you run connection is established only once whenever you press one over here the record will be inserted. Now you can just press zero so connection will be closed thanks by and here you can press a slash you will get the another record 1002 Rohit Sarma 264. It means that my menu is working fine. But I don't want to insert the static record. I want to take the input from the user and that I want to insert. So very simple. We can write here system dot out dot print line and we can write to the user that enter cricketer code. So we will take the input from the user that enter the cricketer code. We can write here integer cricketer code is equal to integer dot parse int is the function and we can write br dot read line. So the input will be taken from the user and that will be stored into this cricketer code variable. 
now you can write that enter the cricketer score so you can write here enter cricketer score and instead of this cricketer code you can write the variable that is a score and to get the cricketer name we can write here that is simple that is enter cricketer name and here we can write string cricketer name is equal to br dot read line now what is the wonderful benefit the wonderful benefit is we can pass this instead of this 1002 we can pass the cricketer code instead of this static rohit sarma we can pass the cricketer name instead of this 264 we can pass the score and the record will be inserted into the table you can save this you can compile your code that is java c cricketer crude demo dot java and you can run this now wonderful benefit is what connection is established only once and it will be closed only when you press the zero right now whenever you press one it will ask for the cricketer code for example 1003 cricketer name for example yusuf pathan cricketer score for example 123 the record will be inserted you can check into your sql prompt so here in SQL, you can just press a slash and you will get that 1003 Yusuf Patan 123 is the score. So this is the way you can insert the record. But sometimes people say that, sir, I want to ask to the user that enter how many cricketer you want to insert. It means that if user want to enter the N cricketer, then I want to allow him to insert the N cricketer. So here we can write that system.out.print enter how many cricketer you want so here we can say that integer n is equal to and we can write the same thing that integer dot parsint br dot read line so now we can write the loop integer i equal to zero i less than n i plus plus and i want to run this particular loop until and unless it reaches to the n so this will do what if user says that i want to insert the two records then it will run two times and two record will be inserted right that we will taste but before that i want to display the content it means that i want to retrieve the record from the database so i need to implement the function in a db connection and that function is a display function so let me write here one function that is public void display. So here, whenever you call the function display, I want to display the content. Prepared statement ps is equal to connection dot prepare statement is a function. And here we can write simple query. Select star from cricketer. So whenever you write this query, select star from cricketer, this ps variable will be just initialized. But it will not execute the query until and unless you write here that rs is equal to ps dot execute query. Then what this rs is? rs is a result set variable. So we can declare over here our instance variable and that is result set rs. So what happened in our case? Whenever you run this query, select star from cricketer. Whenever you run this execute query, this result set has a data. So we can write a loop over here while rs.next. So one by one, it will iterate the data. If the record is available, then it will return true. If the record is not available, then it will return false. And here we can write system.out.printf. And we can simply get the data. So here we can write percentage minus 15s, percentage 20s, percentage 5s. And here we can display that, that is rs dot get string of 1. So it will display the cricketer code rs dot get string of 2. So it will display the cricketer name rs dot get string of 3. So it will display the cricketer score. And here we can write slash n. You can save this. Now you can do what? In a crude demo, you just need to call this function. So here we can write case two. We just need to call connection dot display function. 
So what it will do? It will call the function display. So what display will do? Display will prepare the query and it will execute the query. Then the data will be loaded into result set. If the data is found, then it will be displayed on the screen. You can save this. Now you can compile your code that is Java C cricketer crude demo dot Java. So whenever you compile this, you will get the error and that is related to exception. For that, what we need to do, this display function must throws the SQL exception. So let me write throws exception. You can save this. Now you can simply recompile your code cricketer crude demo dot Java. It will be compiled successfully and you can run your cricketer crude demo. So whenever you run and whenever you press the option number two, you will get the data that is 1001 Virat Kohli. But I want this left aligned, right? Not a right aligned. Instead of this 20s, you can write minus 20s, right? Now you can save this. Now you can simply compile your code and you can rerun this particular code. And whenever you display the content, you will get left aligned. That is Virat Kohli, Rohit Sarma, Yusuf Patan. Now you can insert the data. For example, let me insert the data. How many cricketer you want? I want the two cricketer. The cricketer code 1004 Sachin Tendulkar. Cricketer score 200. 1005 Virendra Sehwag. Cricketer score 319. Let me display the content. See here, five records are there. Even you can check into your SQL prompt also. Here in SQL prompt, you can write the query select star from cricketer and you will get the five records are there. That is 1001 to 1005. So this is the way you can insert the data and you can display the data. But now I want to move towards the another option and that is a searching. So how we can do the searching? Very simple. You can just copy the content of display and you can paste over here. Now, Instead of this display, you can write the name of the function is a search and you can take the input from the user that based on the cricketer code, I want to display the record. It means that we will ask to the user that enter the cricketer code to search and if the cricketer code is matched with the given cricketer code, then we will display the record. So here we can write that select star from cricketer where cricketer code is equal to question mark. Now what this question mark is, so we can write here that ps dot set integer and one that is cricketer code. It means that the user will provide the cricketer code that will be matched if it is found, right? If it is found, then we will display. So here we can do what? We can simply write one condition that if rs dot next, it means that if the record is found, then we can display. Else, we can print the message to the user that system dot out dot print line record not found. So it's a very simple funda. We can say that we can write the query. Simple select star from cricketer where cricketer code equal to the given cricketer code. If it match, then we will display. If it is not match, then we will simply display the record not found. Now we can move to our cricketer crude demo. And here we can provide the one more option to the user that the case number three and the case number three is search. Whenever you are going for the case number three, here you can write case three. Now, definitely I will call the function search. But before that, I need to take the input from the user that enter cricketer code to search. So you can copy this particular two line and you can paste over here. And here you can say that enter cricketer code to search. And you can say that integer cricketer code is equal to this. Now you can write connection dot search function and you can pass this particular code. If user enter 1004, then that will be passed in a search function and inside the search function, it will match into the table record. If it is found, then it will be displayed. If it is not found, then the message will come. That is record not found. You can simply save this. Now you can simply compile this particular code that is cricketer crude demo dot Java. And whenever you compile and run, you will get the error. And that is what cricketer code is not found. 
So here what we can do, we can write that this is integer cricketer code. You can save this. You can compile your code. It will be compiled successfully. Once it is done, you can rerun your code. Now what happened? Connection established. You can display the content. Five records are there. Let me search. 1010. It says that record not found. Yes, record not found. Correct. Let me choose the option number three. 1003. The record is Yusuf Patan. Yes, it is correct. Three. 1002. Record is Rohit Sarma. Yes, it is correct. Let me insert the record. One record. 1010. Name of the cricketer. For example, Sunil Gavaskar. And the score is 320. Display six records are there. Let me search 1010. Now Sunil Gavaskar is searchable. It means that you can search the record based on the given cricketer code. Even you can search based on the given cricketer name also. Even you can search based on the given score also. So this is what you can say this is the search by that is cricketer code. So here we can write the function name is search by cricketer code. Right. So this is the search by cricketer code. Let me copy this and let me paste over here. Now I want to search by score. So instead of cricketer code, I will take the input from the user that enters score. Right. And I want to retrieve all the cricketer who did the score more than the given question mark. Right. So instead of this C code, we can write the score. But what happened? Score may be more than. It means that if you provide here score greater than 200. Right. So might be a chance more than one record are available. So your if condition will not work in this case. If condition will return only first record. So you need to write the loop over there, right? So let me taste first this, that is search by score. And this is search by cricketer code. So instead of this, that is a search function, I need to make it here, that is search by cricketer code. Now I want to search by cricketer score. So let me create new option. And that is the fourth option, search by score. This is a search by cricketer code. Cricketer code is unique. So always you will get one record. But if you search by score, then you will get more than one record. Why? Because if you enter that, I want to retrieve all the cricketer who score the more than 100. So you will get more than one record in this case. So here, what we can do, we can simply copy the case number three. And we can paste over here, that is case number four. Now I want to ask to the user that enter score to search. If user enter that the score is, for example, 200, then I want all the cricketer who did the score more than 200. And you can pass this score over here. And the function is connection dot search by and the function name is a score. You can save this. Now you can compile this particular code, cricketer crude demo.java. And you can run this cricketer crude demo. Now you can search by code. For example, 1003. Then you will get Yusuf Patan. Now you can display all. All the records are there. Now let me search by score. For example, 4. And let me enter the score. For example, 250. So it display only one record, Rohit Sarma. There are Another two cricketer, Virendra Sehwag and Sunil Gavaskar, who also did more than 250. But I am not getting the record. Why? Because whenever you search by score, I am just using the if condition. If record is found, then display this. If it is not found, then record not found. Record is found, but it display only one record. So you need to write a loop over here that while rs.next, right? While rs.next, you can run this loop. And if the record is found, you can write here found is equal to true. And you can declare the variable over here. That is boolean found is equal to false. And here you can write that if not found, then record not found. It means that if the record is available, 
then until and unless the record is available display all the records right and if the record is not available then it will be false so you can say if not found then record is not found now you can save this now you can recompile your code and you can rerun your code now you can search by score and you can provide 250 you will get that there are three cricketer who did the score more than 250 so what i did i did that whenever user enter the score more than that particular score all the cricketer i want to retrieve now i want to develop the functionality to update the record and to delete the record and to sort the record so it is very simple here in a db connection we can write the function to update the data function to delete the data so it is very simple we can simply move to the function that is insert we can simply copy this and we can paste over here now i want to update the data so i am writing here function name is update this is instead of insert into cricketer we will write the query that is update cricketer set cricketer name is equal to question mark comma score is equal to question mark where cricketer code is equal to question mark so my cricketer code will be the third argument cricketer name will be the first argument and the score will be the second argument so you can say that the data will be updated successfully based on the given cricketer code now i want to delete the record so it is very simple you can simply copy this particular function and you can paste now i want to delete the record based on the cricketer code so let me write the function name is delete and here you can get the input from the user that is cricketer code so instead of this query you just need to write that delete from cricketer where cricketer code equal to given question mark so that is cricketer code so instead of this third argument you just need to write that this is the first argument that the cricketer code is equal to this so record will be deleted so you can say that delete code is very simple you can write the delete query you can write the update query you can save this and here in a crude demo you can add two more option one is what that is five to update the data six to delete the data so definitely i need to call the function that's it so you can say that case five and you can call the function that connection dot update and we need to provide the three things that is the cricketer code new name and new score so we need to ask to the user that enter cricketer code to update here in a case file we can write that that the enter cricketer code to update right now i want to get the two new things and that is what that is the cricketer name and cricketer score that i want to update so let me write here that is enter enter new cricketer name and enter new score so new name and new score i want to enter based on the cricketer code and you can simply pass over here that is connection dot update you can call this particular function over here and you can pass cricketer code cricketer name and score so definitely i need to write here this is cricketer code this is a string cricketer name so i just need to write br dot read line this is score so i need to write here integer score what happened connection dot update this will update your data now i want to delete the record based on the given cricketer code so you need to write the case number six so here we can write that case six and break so here we can get the input from the user that enter cricketer code to delete right so if the cricketer code is matched 
then I want to delete. So you can simply call the function connection dot delete and you can pass the cricketer code. Right? You can simply save this. You can compile your code cricketer crude demo dot Java. You will get an error that is integer cricketer code is already declared over here. Score is also declared. So you can remove this. Let me remove this particular integer cricketer code. This is also declared. Let me save this. Now you can compile Java C cricketer crude demo dot Java. It will be compiled successfully. Now you can simply run cricketer crude demo. You can display all. All the records are displayed perfectly. Now I want to update. Instead of Sachin Tendulkar, I want to make that. That is Sachin Ramesh Tendulkar. And instead of 200, I want to make it here 243. So let me enter the update. 1004 new name is Sachin Ramesh Tendulkar and the score is 243 let me display see here Sachin Ramesh Tendulkar 243 even you can check the data into your SQL also here in SQL if you press a slash you will get that the Sachin Ramesh Tendulkar 243 is the score now I want to delete the record for example, let me delete the record and the cricketer code is 1004. So record is deleted successfully. You can see that the 1004 is deleted. And if you display here, then Sachin Ramesh Tendulkar record is not available over here. But what happens? Suppose if you delete the cricketer code, suppose if you provide the cricketer code 1006, and if this cricketer code is not available, then I'm not getting the message that the record is not available. Why? Because in this particular code, I just simply delete the record if the cricketer code is found. So it will work always perfectly. But if you want to provide here condition that the record not found, then what we can do? Very simple. We can first retrieve the data based on this cricketer code. We can write the query over here. That is what PS is equal to connection dot prepare statement and we can write the query query is what select star from cricketer where cricketer code is equal to question mark and here we can write ps dot set integer one and we can provide this cricketer code now i need to execute this query so what we can do we can write rs is equal to ps dot we can write the query execute query so what happen this query will be executed if the record is found then rs has a value so we can write if rs dot next it means that if record is available if record is available then and then do this right it means what if record found then delete this else simply write the message that record not found. So what happened in this case? It will first check into the table. Is cricketer code is found? If it is found, then we will delete. If it is not found, then we will print the message record not found. You can save this. Now you can compile your code cricketer crude demo dot Java and you can run this cricketer crude demo. Now you can display. See, five records are there. Let me delete. For example, 1006 and it says that record not found. Let me delete. For example, 1010. It will delete the record and you can display 1010 is deleted. It means that if the record is not found, then you will get the message record not found. But if record is available, then it will simply delete the record and that you can achieve using this same you can do whenever you are updating the record now i want to move towards the another functionality and that is the sorting so how we can sort the data so i want to sort by score and that is descending right so let me write the function that is sort by score so it is very simple you just need to copy your display function you can simply paste and here you can write that this is sort by score. Sort by score. 
So here you just need to change into your query, select star from cricketer, order by score descending. So what happened? It will display the data in a descending order of the score. This is the function sort by score and you can call from your menu. So here in a menu, you can add one more menu and that is case number seven. You can write that sort by score. Even you can write sort by name, sort by cricketer code. So this is eight, this is nine. Sort by cricketer name, sort by cricketer code. So case seven, eight and nine, I need to implement. Very simple, you can write case seven. You can write that connection dot sort by score and break. So whenever you call the case 7 sort by score function will be code from DB connection. This is the function sort by score. You can simply copy this particular function and you can paste. You can paste. Now you can say that this is the sort by cricketer name. So you just need to write here order by cricketer name. Ascending or descending you can mention here. Here you can say that sort by cricketer code. So you can write here select star from cricketer order by cricketer code. So this is the function sort by cricketer code, sort by cricketer name that you can call in a case 8 and case 9. So in a case 8 we can write that this is a sort by connection dot sort by cricketer name. And in a case 9, we can write that this is sort by cricketer code. You can save this. Now you can simply compile this particular code cricketer crude demo dot Java and you can run this cricketer crude demo. Now you can display the content. See here, four records are there. Now let me sort by score. That is the option number seven. And you will be able to see that the Virendra Sevak 319, Rohit Sarma 264, 248 Virat Kohli and Yusuf Patan 123. Let me sort by cricketer code. And you will be able to see that this is by cricketer code 1, 2, 3 and 5. And you can sort by cricketer name, Rohit Sarma, Virat Kohli, Virendra Sevak and Yusuf Patan. And even you can do the ascending and descending based on your requirement. So this is what the insert, update, delete, search, sort, search by cricketer code, search by cricketer scores. So that's it from my side.